November 27, 1939. Having arrived back at Wilhelmshaven with the ever-so-secret Enigma machine, command allowed my crew to have a one-day leave as a reward. I quickly debriefed my crew and congratulated them on a job well done before sending them off to the city and advised them to be back and ready to leave no later than 10 a.m. on this day. Upon walking out and seeing my men in formation, I couldn't help but immediately notice that we were short one in the formation. My first officer, Kurt Hoffman, advised me that while the crew were on leave, they apparently got into a large brawl at the local bar. My crewman, Walter Cross, took full responsibility for the fight and was immediately taken to the brig to await court-martial. Being a crewman down for our next mission will surely hinder our abilities ever so slightly, but I have full confidence that my men will fill in the gaps and perform their duties to the fullest. Our next mission takes us to Bear Island, where we've been tasked with setting up a weather station to gather more accurate weather data for our men in the air. While this wasn't exactly the type of mission I had in mind, I know that it is critical for the war effort. Recently I have heard rumors that they will be sending U-boat crews south towards Italy to knock out key targets near the Alberan Sea. My first order of business upon our return is to put in my request for my crew and I to be transported south to start operations in the Mediterranean Sea. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of U-Boats. So, in the, this episode, as you all have heard, we are heading north. Very, very north. So far north that we are actually going into the Norwegian Sea to go to Bear Island and set up a weather station to be able to gather more accurate weather data. Now, what that's going to do for us, well, you know, we'll find out. But it's more so for the, uh, the Luftwaffe so that they can probably do uh, better operations northward and try and, I don't know, hammer the lads on the United Kingdom and try and cripple them if possible. I can't imagine that we would be coming across too many supply ships in this area. I say that, and that's only because, I mean, Russia hasn't entered the war yet. So, there's really no reason for supply ships to go this far north. But, you know, I, I could be wrong, and maybe we get lucky and run into a whole bunch, because I'm hoping we're not just gonna have to go to Bear Island and then come back, because it's gonna take a lot of fuel to actually get up here and then come back. So we're gonna pay attention. We are heading there though, and that's that's the mission. So we gotta we gotta do what we gotta do. So the plan of action is to get to Norway, right at the uh, northwestern corner here of Norway, and then drop down and do some hydrophone checks and see if there's anything nearby. If there's nothing nearby, we'll shoot up to right around AC7 here, maybe AB9, and do another hydrophone check to see that if there are any shipping of any kind. Heading this way. Of course, I have to be British, of course. So you know we're we're going to be keeping an eye out for that. And then if there's nothing, then we're going to go uh, to Bear Island and, and complete this mission. And then coming back, however, we are definitely going to be hitting up at least the east coast of England here prior to going back to Wilhelmshaven. Hello, saving. Just interrupt me ever so slightly. Lovely. But yeah, we'll be going to the east coast of England and then trying to find some kind of shipping. Maybe even try and go back to Leith because that was a very good area for a. Uh, ships coming in and out because it's kind of like it's their only port on the east coast isn't it it is look at that oh no i lied port of london but could you imagine going in here oh my goodness that would be pretty awesome if you ask me to be able to actually get into the port of london and knock out something but that's the uh, that's the goal we're sticking to it it's a lovely day out here november 27th 1939 and as you all heard we are a crewman short those uh those bloody bar brawls the the guys just they just couldn't handle it they couldn't handle their alcohol got in a little fight but mr cross did take full responsibility my hat's off to him didn't let everybody else go down so he is going to be in the brig for a little bit i'll be fighting to uh get him back on the boat hopefully not get court-martialed uh and have too terrible of penalties coming his way but he might have to spend a couple nights in the brig that's okay we're going to be back. We'll pick them up the next turn around. And then hopefully we can actually start going down towards Italy and uh, pick up those new orders because we've done a lot of what we could up here in the north. I want to go play around in the Mediterranean Sea, right in the Alberon Sea, and uh, see what we can get ourselves into because that could be fun. Maybe go to the port of Tunis and uh, knock out some key shipping there. But without further ado, thank you all for watching and being here. Love all the support as always. Let's uh, let's get on with this mission. 
Okay, we have reached our first area, so let's go ahead and do a quick hydrophone check if we could, please. Because I am curious. Nothing as it stands right now. I didn't see anything, so... I guess the only thing we can really do is continue on to AB9 and we'll check again up there, but so far... Nothing in sight, which is worrisome. I don't like it. Alright, going down to the second AB9 area, we have arrived. Let's go ahead and uh, drop down, please. Come on. We need some targets. Give us something, game. Drop it down 50 meters. Do we hear anything? Nothing in sight yet. My goodness. Well... I didn't think we were going to see anything over here, personally, as I uh, had already warned you guys, but one can hope. One can hope. Let's go ahead and get some uh, sailors on the engines, please. Conserve some gas. I guess the next stop we got is Bear Island. That's the only thing we can do. Head up there and see what this is all about, and hopefully, I don't know, come up against something up here, but we're definitely going to be coming back down here because I refuse have a mission where we do not launch a single torpedo. So interesting that we have to go up to Bear Island, though. You would think they'd want a weather station somewhere closer, I guess, but you know what? I'm just a lowly little officer. I just take orders from admirals and say, yes, sir, and kind of just piss off. You know what I mean? So next stop, Bear Island. Here we go. All right, we are nearing our objective of Bear Island, only about 5.2 kilometers away and closing fast. What does it have in store for us? Get ready, men. And here we go. New objective. Send a group to land. Let's go ahead and stop the boat. What time is it? 13.22? Is it night out or light out? I mean, I don't know. What is it like up here in the north, of course? Nothing in sight. Okay, well, that's fine. We have stopped the boat. Let's go ahead and get a weather station crew ready to rock. So that's the place. Your orders tell you to deploy a weather station near these coordinates. Send a team to the coast. And I can select many officers. Hello. Well, uh, Mr. Franz Bruckmeier and uh, who else? Gustav, you as well. And should we do one more? I, I guess we can do one more. Well, hmm. Should we do one more? No. We'll send them, and then how many... We can send four characters. Very well. I think that's good enough. Are they just sailors? Two officers, and I'm assuming sailors. We'll send three. Sending your crew outside may be dangerous. In the worst case scenario, the entire group may be lost. Assess the situation and tread carefully. I beg your pardon? What in the world are you talking about? I don't approve. This is eerie. Team sent. Please wait while the team arrives at the destination. You can leave the screen at any time. Well, let's go ahead and just speed up here. Your team arrived to the coast with no problems. There is no sign of human presence around. We should send a scouting party to search for a good spot to deploy the weather station. Of course. Of course. Here we go. Scout the area, why don't you? Performance, slow. Well, that's not good. How slow? Oh my gosh, even at 140. We are, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and stop this. Where are we right now? We are chilling here. I don't like it. Let's go ahead and go to Periscope Death. Sitting ducks out here. How far away can we be from here? I don't know. I don't like it though. Go ahead and retreat, and, or I say retreat, go ahead and retreat under the water, and get ready for something. We're not just going to be able to sit here so casually, I bet. This doesn't make sense. Alright, so far, knock on wood, right? The, uh, nothing yet. We're at 91% completion almost, and nothing has happened, so I guess we'll see what goes on from here. Deployment! Our scouting team has found a good location to deploy the weather station and carried all components there. We can start assembling it. Ugh. 
Oh my goodness, now we gotta build it. Start building the weather station. Performance average. I do like that. While we are waiting here, though, hey, if anyone is enjoying this episode so far, even though there hasn't been much action, action to follow very shortly. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps the channel out, helps the video out be seen by countless thousands, maybe even millions. And likewise, if you guys like what you're seeing so far and you want to check out more videos, go to my channel, check out the videos, see what you think of the uh, episodes prior to this one. And we are going to have many more awesome videos coming out very soon not only on this game but many other games if you want to see all that please consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it but here we are we're waiting again 52 percent can i go back out really quick while i wait oh hello whoa, whoa 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 what are we dealing with here hard turn man hard turn Groups two to four. Oh shit! Look at this. Hello, hello. Yeah, get on the attack periscope like today, sir. As he rushes to the frickin' site, let's go, 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 go faster. You're the bloody captain. You should know this. Manual mode. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be pitch black outside, isn't it? I'm not gonna be able to see a bloody thing. Jib spot, let's go ahead and send that off to BDU. They are obviously destroyers, but we're not going to be able to do anything about that. Let's go ahead and increase to... Tw oh, shit, it's three. Okay. What are you guys at? 62%. Let's go ahead and increase that. Hopefully those ships go by. We're going to have to check back periodically here to ensure that they're not looping around. Testing the station. Weather station is now up and running. We just need to test if it works to consider this mission complete. We can use our onboard radio to check if the station correctly transmits the data from the installed sensors. Perfectly. Well, retreat to the ship, men. Retreat to the ship. Where's our radio men? Yes, mission complete. Return to port. Perfect. Are everybody on board? Is everybody okay? Mission complete. Well, I want to make sure everybody's on board here. Where are you? Okay, he's on board. Sweet. How about you go ahead and rest? There we go. All right, well, lovely. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and go forward two, please, at 48. Not exactly sure where those destroyers are that drove past us, but that's okay. First order of business completed. I like it. Now it's time to head back to dish out some serious damage. Let's, let's do this. We need our ever so awesome Mr. Veba to get back on for the engines, please, with two sailors. Start saving and conserving as much fuel as possible. What are we using? Battery? Oh, because we're underground, aren't we? Oh. Underwater, I mean, underground. My goodness, what am I talking about here? Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Forward 65. When you next see us, we will be right at the coast of England, ladies and gentlemen. Looking forward to it. Let's get some actual serious U-boating happening here, shall we? All right, we have arrived just off the northeastern coast of England, and we have a new little message coming in. Convoy and Naval Score AN219 pursuing seven steamers for escorts. Hello. This message is followed by bearing signals. We can track the source as long as the transmission stays active. Holy hell. Uh... Let's go ahead and drop, please, shall we? Let's get a few listening posts going. Got our hydrophone up, perfect. Drop and find out if we can't find this. And there they are, we have spotted them, ladies and gentlemen. Large group, let's go ahead and increase speed here. And they are heading at a rough, rough course. Right about like that. Oh, this is good. This is very good. We can go ahead and surface the boat, please. And we will cut them off right here, hopefully. Go ahead and get engines fast forward four, please. Let's get into position, and hopefully this U-1166 is going to be able to help us a little bit. But let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, my goodness. And we have found them. That is one large convoy, and you can see the 1166 is in the dead center of it, probably using their uh, prop blasts as cover. Smart, very smart. 
we're currently not doing too well on fuel either. We got 34% fuel left, so we need to really consider, and of course it's pitch black outside, we need to really consider making this probably the last thing we do before heading back. And it appears as though our friend has been spotted. He is going to be targeted here. And there go some uh, torpedoes, hello. We should be seeing some blasts here soon, hopefully. There they are, holy good hit. Bloody solid hit on the 1166. Oh my goodness. We need to uh, think about what we want to do here because everything's going to be bugging out really fast. Especially now that they've already been hit. Okay, so obviously they were doing evasive maneuvers around the area, so we had to bug out of there and get ahead, but it looks like the group has significantly shrunk only because I know they did lose one of the ships to the U-1166, excuse me, I think it was, I was going to say 5-6, but pretty sure that was the last U-boat that we had to uh, go save. But, however, we have picked them up again and they are heading, it looks like right for us, it's 1326 in the afternoon, which is perfect because now we're going to have actual daylight hours to uh, play with, but we're going to try and get in a position to cut them off, if at all possible. So, let's go ahead and give two sailors to the captain to increase our sight range by 45%, and try and get in a position here to uh, make a precision attack, shall we? This is gonna be good. And here we are, oh my gosh, we are in the depth of it now. Now, the thing I have noticed right off the bat is none of these guys are armed. These are all just your simple cargo ships. So, let's not even waste torpedoes right now. Let's go ahead and raise the boat, shall we please? We'll take these two off the captain. Where is our first officer, please? Mr. Kurt Hoffman, as soon as we get up top, you are going to be assigned two sailors. I need you to man the deck gun ASAP. Go ahead and do a little bit of increased time here. Go to the deck gun immediately. And let's get ready for this, shall we? Oh yes, this is gorgeous. Go ahead and start pummeling them, shall we? Let them know we're here. All you other ships can just get the hell out. We're here just for the British, just the British. Understand? Let's go ahead and get a little closer, shall we? The loading speed is uh, much better, I've noticed. I wonder if these guys are getting more experience in this deck gun. Because I've certainly noticed an increase in loading speed. Right, let's try and get the water line right here. It's a little more thin. Definitely hit the main there, that's okay. And there we go, fire on board, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. One more for good measure. Definitely taking on water as it's listing, and let's get the water line over here. There we go. Get that thing down to the bottom of the Atlantic. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect. That'll be enough for that. Now, where's our next target? I do believe it's that one right there. Go ahead and set a course forward four, please. And uh, we are in hard charge mode. Let's go. And lifeboats are coming out on this one, so it's going to go down pretty soon. And sure enough, the lifeboats are out, and the ship did sink, and here is our next target. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Go ahead and get HE first, shall we? There we go. Fire on board. Perfect. One more. Make sure that thing stays a lit. There we go. Switch over to AP. They're getting the hole. And it's definitely not doing too well at all. It is listing as well. Go ahead and get another AP round off to the rear of the boat here. And that should be pretty much enough. There's the lifeboats right there. If we could not hit the water though, that would be great. I need to get that... Uh, that skill. There we go. Ship sinking officially. Need to get that skill that completely levels out the cannon when you're shooting it. That would be great. Alright, perfect. Look at that. Let's go ahead and get these values sent over to the BDU. Perfect. Now, where are we? We are going to go head over this way and see 
how's our fuel situation? 30%. We're going to shoot over here really quick and see if there's anything to go after. And then hopefully get some torpedo attacks in. And then we got to go home because we are running low on fuel. But I still want more British shipping under our belt. We could do it. Alright, we've been in the area and just arrived. Let's go ahead and see what these new communications are. Steamer, Naval Square, AN-17... Or AN-179, excuse me. Of course, 219 degrees. Where might that be? I dare say. Ah, this is it! We were right on it, of course. Go ahead and go down to periscope depth if we can, please. Oh, this is beautiful! Let's go ahead and get ready for this, shall we? Get a little closer. Right about there. Let's go ahead and stop the engines in our old stomping grounds. I don't know what these are right here, but I want them dead. Go ahead and raise periscope. I want to know what's behind us really quick. That's what we were looking at right there. And they look like destroyers. Both of them? Oh, it's a little PT boat and one destroyer. Okay. Well, what are we dealing with? Oh, perfect. Look at this thing. Look at this big old behemoth. I almost feel like it's an Empire Tower, just based off the two pillars in the back here. Beautiful. This is our target, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this thing just a little closer if we can, please. Beauty. And let's go ahead and get a velocity. It looks like it's actually moving relatively okay. Start. Hopefully we have these uh, torpedoes warmed up. The Empire Endurance. <laughs> Not for long. Find yourself at the bottom of this little uh, little channel here, sir. Cool looking ship, though. All right, let's go ahead and get ready and stop. Set seven knots. Typical, typical. Course, you know what? We're gonna put you right at around 86 degrees. That works for me. And a distance. We're close. That's what I. I know that much. 1.1 kilometers. Yeah. I'll do 1050 kilometers. Let's go ahead and get this rocking and rolling. What's the a drought? 8.7 meters. So let's drop this down to 4 meters, shall we? Tube 1 flooded and fire. Alright, that is away. We have the two boats behind us that are going to uh, give us a bit of a problem. Come on, let's see these beautiful fireworks and impact. Oh, oh yes. Disgusting, serious damage. No doubt these guys are going to start heading over this way now. That hit super low, so it's going to take on a lot of water. I mean, it's completely engulfed as well in flames, so don't see this uh, surviving much longer. And here they come, just like we said they would. Start heading this way, shall we? Let's go forward one. We will drop down 20 meters. There it goes. Incoming from the Violet. We already have a success on uh, sinking it. Go ahead and hard right here, please. Everybody, blue lighting, blue lighting. And we have been pinged. Go ahead and go forward 12 here. Get ready for the hard left or right. I don't imagine this uh, little PT boat has any depth charges. It's going to be up to this destroyer to actually send us to the bottom. Ready? And hard left. Drop down 30 meters. Colors detected. Depth charges away. Come on, come on. Keep turning. There's the depth charges. You can just see it right above us like that. Eerie. Explosions behind us. Get closer. Hard left. Damage, damage. Sail 
they're in critical state. Come on, get out of there. Let's go. Forward three. Pull out of this. You're good. More death charges. And there we go. We are on the seafloor. Come on, come on. Everybody just shut the hell up right now. Woo! This'll put some hair on your chest. This is fine. Just rest on the seafloor and wait for him to pass over. Here they are, still overhead. Looks like they might be buggering off. Oh, yes. Did we fool him? A sailor has died now! You will never be forgotten, sir. Still waiting. It looks like they might be getting back into a patrol formation and buggering off. Yes, they are indeed, actually. Perfect. Alright, go up to 27 meters, please. Start the engines. Forward one, hard right. Let's get the hell out of here. Who did we lose? Ah, poor sailor. We did get a depth charge that landed just a little too close. Another casualty of war. This is, uh, that hurts. That hurts to see that. You never like to see your crewmen get injured. We have successfully made it out of the channel. Alarm canceled. Perfect. Go ahead and surface the boat, shall we please? Get those air reserves up and we are out. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and a diesel compressor, please. Normal lighting. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Boy, what an intense little mission that was, huh? Didn't think we were going to get hammered with uh, depth charges as much as we were from that um, destroyer. He must have expended every single one of his depth charges to try and get us out, but good old uh, tactics. Thank you to all the viewers who advised me of that cool little trick to just lay on the seabed. And here we go, arriving back at the port of Wilhelm's Haven, once again under the uh, cover of darkness. What an intense mission it was. Crew did phenomenal. But uh, unfortunately, in the process of getting these missions done, trying to sink more British shipping to help in the war effort, we did lose a sailor. He will never be forgotten, did his job, has been through a lot uh, he will always be remembered. We'll be ensured to engrave his name inside the boat so that myself and all crew members can always remember him. Total gross tonnage sunk 14,000, taking out the Empire Brutus and Geraint. I'm uh, assuming I'm butchering that name, but took them out with a deck gun. And then the last one that we just took out with a single torpedo, the Empire Endurance 6200 uh, gross tonnage, which is pretty good, I have to say. I think what I'm gonna do right now is just get everything ready to rock and roll because we're gonna turn it around and get right back out there. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I can't thank you all enough, as always, for stopping by watching the series. I do it all for you guys. Really happy to do this. Really glad that everyone is actually enjoying the series, getting a lot of uh, positive feedback from everybody. You guys are all awesome. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, especially if you guys like the episode, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, helps the channel out, and uh, gets this video out so many more people can see it. For anyone that's new to the channel, if you like what you saw, if you like my playstyle, if you want to see more video games coming out really soon, more videos on U-Boat, uh, I'd like to do some Il-2 Strimovic. There's a few video games coming out relatively soon for... Uh, on the Steam that I've been looking at. If you guys want to see that and more, please consider subscribing. Anyways, I'm going to get back at it, start looking at these missions that we can start to do here pretty soon. And until the next video, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?